Welcome to the Penguin Revolution. Fedora 31 just dropped, and we're going to take a look at it today. Hey everyone, what's happening? And today we're going over Fedora 31. And I'm, I'm not going over the main line spin, which features the GNOME desktop environment. I figured everyone else is going over that, so I'm going to go over something different. And uh, so I've downloaded one of the spins. Uh, and today we're going over the LXQT desktop environment spin for Fedora 31. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with my super secret password that is definitely not PR. While we're waiting for it to log in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so let's see what we got. Uh, so we got a desktop environment, a desktop background here that's kind of blue and I'd say I don't like it, but uh, that can change. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and now yeah, that's better. Um, so let's see what we got here. First of all, uh, let's go ahead. Let's bring up a terminal. Let's uh, see how its memory we're taking up here. Now this is a light desktop environment and it is using 377 megabytes of RAM. That's actually extremely light of the two megabytes I gave this VM. So, uh, so you could just run this off of a netbook if you wanted to. Unlike the GNOME, which starts at 1.1 gigabytes, I believe is what switch to Linux said uh, the GNOME environment takes up. So um, let's go ahead, let's find out what kernel and uh, bash script and all that stuff that we're running, Neo fetch. Whoa, we don't have that installed. So that would be a sudo dnf install neo fetch. You know what, let's stop. let's also install H top as well. Whoops. Secret password. That's definitely not PR. Okay. Here we go. All right, while that's doing that, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at a couple other things here. Um, starting with the uh, file manager here. It's PC man QT. That makes sense. Um, that's actually pretty decent file manager. It's a lightweight one. Just basic file manager. All right. Now let's go ahead, let's take a look at NeoFetch. Now as you can see, we are running Fedora 31. The kernel is 5.3.7. That's actually a very, very recent kernel. So you're running a very, very re one of the latest kernels, which probably means you have one of the latest hardware stacks as well. Which is actually a really good thing. So I'll work on your new hardware. Uh, of course, LXQT is base is a highly highly pre-configured version of OpenBox. As a matter of fact, you can sign right into OpenBox from the Display Manager. Um, 
of course, we have the ad waiter theme. I think that I'm pronouncing that correctly. Ad waiter. Um. So, uh, literally, it's just your basic 5.3 and 5.0 bash is your shell. So, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at what else we got here. It's installed by default. Um, for graphics, we have LX image. For your image viewer, just a basic image viewer. And... Of course, you just have screenshot for your screenshot utility. For our internet browser, it looks like we have Falcon, which is a QT-based internet browser. And it looks like it's pre-configured for .go as its default search engine. Now, that is nice. Privacy uh, enabled um, search search is uh, amazing so um i'm surprised it didn't come with google so i'm glad they haven't gone the way of ubuntu selling everyone out to google but um but uh basically your basic file uh just gonna go to google speaking of google it's just your basic um web browser Okay, um, let's continue going through this. Of course, you have Q Transmission, which is your tran your QT transmission BitTorrent client for legitimate downloads. Uh, Inky is your text editor. If I remember correctly, that's Vim based. I have not not really messed up with Inky, but it's a QT based text editor and it looks like it's an extensible one as well, which is nice by default. Of course, I use Atom, but it's nice to see an extensible text editor in a in a uh, installed by default. Um, Pulse Audio is your default audio service and drivers. Of course, your system tools. Q Terminal is your terminal emulator. And that's your system tray. And your basic settings. Uh, no Office Suite installed by default. So you'll have to install that using DNF. Um, and no uh, graphical package manager as well. Uh, so you'd have to install, uh, probably Discover if you wanted one of those. Um, but, uh, LXQT is basically your lightweight desktop. Um, but it's really great to see 5.3 kernel in this. So how do you get this particular spin? Well, we're going to go ahead and open up the internet browser. And you're going to enter in spins.fedora project project.org slash en. I don't think, and you have your spins right here. Um, of course, you have KDE Plasma, uh, XFCE, LXQT is right here, uh, Mate, Cinnamon, LXDE as well, which is another older uh, lightweight desktop, which is also pretty nice as well, and... Sora, a uh, SOS, which I actually have never used. I might have to mess around with that. Um, so, 
And also you have also go to getfedora.org for the GNOME desktop environment spin. Um, so that is a quick look at Fedora 31. LXDE, not LXDE, LXQT version. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you in the next video.